guys, good morning. So today I'm working in this area right underneath our crab apple tree in our front yard. We just recently did some pruning and it's feeling a lot lighter and a lot airier in here. There was a bunch of dead branches up in here and a lot of things that were weighed down really low. Um, so it's just, it's feeling good. And I'm noticing some holes. We had some gophers come through too. And that's one of the things I'm gonna do today. We did our initial couple applications of Mole Max around the area on this side. And so I'm gonna apply more of it today because we're working on getting the gophers pushed out of this area. You can see right here was where one of the mounds was. Um, and then there were a couple on the other side where there's some big mounds of kind of like mud now. Um, but I'm really excited about some plants that are going in this area that I wanted to show you. So these are called Dolce Apple Twist Hookeras. They look like little mounds of beautiful lettuce to me. I love them. When they come out in the spring, their leaves have kind of red veining and then they mature to this kind of chartreuse apple green color. And then I'm noticing now that we're getting closer to fall that some of their leaves are taking on more of a fall tone. Um, you can see a little bit of hard water staining on this one because I had been watering these in the greenhouse with the hose. Um, so their leaves get a little bit spotted up, but they should do really well in this area because they like a shadier situation. They like part shade to shade. This spot right here where they're going is pretty shaded. Like it might get a little tiny bit of dappled sun um, at one point in the afternoon. I've got some hardy geraniums and birch hybrid campanulas in this area that stay fairly happy. So I think it gets enough sun to where they'll color up nicely. And they're kind of past, I just popped out their bloom spikes. Their bloom spikes come out midsummer, kind of creamy white blooms, which I love to lose, use in flower arrangements. Um, so I'm going to just place some of these. I think this area only needs about three. I've got some hellebores too right here and hostas around this spot. So I think I can tuck three in here really nicely. They grow about 10 to 12 inches tall and then they'll spread out about 20 or so inches and I kind of want it to be a really nice mass effect over here. So if I kind of space them like this, I think that that will be perfect. And then the birch hybrid campanula typically kind of grow out. They're a ground cover that has a purple flower and they grow out and fill up this area. I recently cut them back. So I think this whole spot will really be filled except for, you know, I've got impatiens in here, which are an annual. So later on I can come in with a perennial if I want to. I'm also planting some caladiums in this spot too, up here. So these are called fast flash, gorgeous. And I know it's kind of late in the season, but we were sent these to try out because these are gonna be new next year. So I thought it would be fun to just kind of pop a few of these in some of the areas that are gopher damaged, just to kind of cover up some of the issues going on. So I've got two, four, six of those all kind of scatter in this area. Um, anyway, so I think I'll just get all of these planted and then we'll take a look at the finished product. I think it brought a really fun pop of color right there, kind of that pinkish red. And again, that one's called Flash, Fast Flash. And I put some in a container as well. So I've got some in a container, some inside in a container, and then some in the landscape. Um, and since it's a trial year for me, I thought it would be fun just to kind of put them all over the place and see how they did. Um, and I don't think, I think maybe this spot gets a tiny bit of sun. So it will be an experiment. And as you get further back into this area, it's definitely more shaded even throughout the day. Although you can see a little bit of dappled sun at this point on these hookahs, 
I think three was the perfect number right here. They just tucked in beautifully um, and they should grow. You know, if they grow 20 to 24 inches, they should all kind of grow together and create this nice little swoop right in there. Um, and I think the fact that they do get a little sun will make them maybe even a little bit happier, even though they do tolerate a sh really shady location, I think that they'll color up better and possibly bloom better, given the fact that they get a little bit of sun. Uh, and then I went ahead and applied my second round of Mole Max. So the way this works, it's a four day process and I'm really excited to see what happens here because this area gets nailed every year by gophers. It's the weirdest thing. Like it's this little island in the middle of grass, never get a mound in the grass, but they always come into this spot. So. Um, the way you do it, the first day you kind of create a barrier toward the back side of your affected area. Second day you come in and you do a little bit more. So I did this interior spot. And then third and fourth day you'll just kind of keep applying it further and further until you push them out um, into an area where it's okay for them to be, which is, this is an unused pasture in front of us. So they can be out there and just do their thing. But in here I don't really appreciate them coming in and messing with my perennials and making a mess in my flower beds. Um, so the very last thing I do want to get done today is I do want to put one of these hookahs in this little bronze, bronzy gold colored pot. I just potted up a couple of other containers that match this one by our back door. It's full shade location. I put caladiums and impatiens in them and they're beautiful, but I kind of wanted a third container. Um, so I thought that this would be really pretty. Just a single plant in this container I think it's going to look really cute and I actually think this is great for fall because it almost mimics like a cabbage or a kale um, but these are a I think they're termed a semi evergreen so they're zone four through nine and I know that they stay beautiful on the warmer side of things so maybe like zone seven eight nine they stay really nice zone four and five like I garden in a zone five they typically look pretty good through the winter, but there is usually some leaves I have to clean up in the spring that get a little bit winter worn, um, but they're really great that way. So this potentially could stay out because it's a very protected spot as long as I keep it watered and it'll look pretty throughout the winter. Unless it gets really cold, then I'll need to put it in the greenhouse in order to winter it over. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this up really quick and then we'll go place it by the back door. There, doesn't that finish that little trio perfectly? They're all in the same kind of container. I've got two of the same size. This one you can see I've got an impatient. This is a white wonder caladium and an asparagus fern. And then these I think are called radiance. I don't know, I'll look that up. Um, and then asparagus ferns and then this really pretty apple twist hookah. I think it's just a really, really fun arrangement right here and they all thrive in shade. So anyway, that's it for today's video. I'm really excited to have these new plants in the ground and in the container. It'll be fun to see what they do. I um, hope you guys are all having an awesome day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.